Durham Public Housing say they continue to deal with gun violence in their communities. When looking into what efforts are being made to address this, CBS 17's Crystal Price found out the Durham Housing Authority has hired a safety coordinator. She has more on what this person's role will be in the community. We care about where we live. We care about where our children grow up. Jamelia McLean lives at Oxford Manor, a public housing complex in Durham with her four-year-old daughter. And she says gunfire is something they hear at least once or twice a week. My daughter doesn't know that it's guns. I tell her it's, it's firecrackers. It's okay. It's firecrackers because I don't want her to know that. She's four. And Oxford Manor isn't the only public housing complex in Durham dealing with this problem, as there have been deadly shootings in the last two months at Liberty Street, McDougal Terrace, and Corn Wallace Road. After digging through hundreds of police reports, CBS 17 found that there have been at least 35 shooting incidents within a block of the 16 Durham Housing Authority complexes in the first half of the year. We live here in a community where we want better for our children and ourselves. When looking into what efforts are underway by the Durham Housing Authority to improve safety, DHA CEO Anthony Scott told me for 10 years, DHA has had a resident safety office team, which includes a safety manager and a safety coordinator. This team's job is to partner with police, to hold safety meetings with residents, and to participate in crime reduction programs. But those two positions have been vacant for most of the year. But Scott says a new safety coordinator has recently started, and a new manager has just been hired. He says the team will get back to normal operations soon. That sounds awesome. We would love to have actually see that in action. And we want people in the office to care to in their actions, in their words. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.